So, Steve, this is the video I promised you about uh, the problem that you're having on your Solex carburetors, and that problem being the uh, threads in the body of your carburetors have been pulled out, and in place of a nice hollow bolt and a, a, a pipe uh, to uh, carry the, the vacuum signal to your uh, vacuum secondary barrel, uh, or diaphragm and the second barrel, and instead of that um, pipe being threaded in there, yours was siliconed in place. Now then, uh, this is what it should look like. Uh, obviously with threads in there, you know what yours looks like, the threads have been pulled out. Now then, in order to fix that, it requires a very special helicoil kit. Um, 6 by 0.75 is very unique. It's called a, a, a 0.75 is a French pitch. The normal pitch for a 6 millimeter is uh, uh, 1 millimeter um, and the 0.75 is, is a French pitch and it's used all over these Solexes um, and I think that's because uh, Solex was a French company. Anyway, uh, the problem is one has to repair these threads and in order to do that you have to disassemble the carburetors. Uh, and what the sequence of events is, you have a special drill that comes with the, the repair kit. You then have a special tap which screws in to make threads. And then those threads are designed to hold this stainless steel insert. What you're doing is you're actually going to thread this in there. And when you get finished, what you have is the inside of this is the exact thread pitch for this hollow bolt and um, next thing you know you got brand new threads in there and they're much better threads because they're uh, steel instead of the pot metal now then the problem is getting to the point where you can actually drill all the way through this hole and you can run this tap all the way through there because as you know you've got something underneath here that has to come out and that something is called your venturi and that uh, has to and that slides in fits in there and it is held in place by a screw here on the side and that has to come out. In order to get to that point uh, we either have to remove your choke butterfly and choke shaft and then once, uh, once that's out of the way um, in behind here is uh, a, uh, a pre-atomizer this one's been all beat up, but um, anyway, that pre atomizer is in there and it has to come out, and then the um, venturi can slide out. Or go in through the back side, pull the, um, the uh, butterfly out, and all your throttle linkage, and that comes off. And um, uh, all this down here, especially with your uh, accelerator pump diaphragm. Now, the problem is, you just don't unscrew these screws right here. They are staked in position, and you have to grind off. You have to grind off the end of the screw to get rid of the staking. And then once that's done, uh, these things do not come out because they're rusted in place. So you have to um, heat them up with a uh, torch uh, to break the iron uh, oxide bonds, and that way you can unscrew them. And then, at that point, you can slide everything out and start to do the helicoil process. Uh, so, that's why I was saying it's, a, it's, it's not an insurmountable problem. It's one that I fix regularly because the hollow bolt happens to be the same hollow bolt and the same thread pitch as... Um, let me get rid of this. It has, it's the same thread pitch and same size as the drain for the uh, first barrel on the on the Solexes and it's very common to repair the threads in these uh, they pull out regularly so like I said it can be fixed uh, but you will have to send me the carburetors and it's going to take a couple three hours of labor so um, there you go I hope this explains if you have any questions please ask thanks bye